At the office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, you know, we're proud to bring you Education Matters in partnership with EECU, Table Mountain Rancheria, Fresno State, and KC24. Thank you for watching Positive Stories About Education. Preparing for the fall semester is in full swing at Fresno State with classes set to start on August 19th. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson reports on how the university used the summer to plan for what will be a different educational experience for students. Like many incoming freshmen, Ashley Ledbetter was looking forward to all college life has to offer. The thing I was looking forward to most was interacting with other students on campus and just having that college experience. Fresno State President Joseph Castro understands how she feels and has a message for students like Ashley. I applaud their resilience, especially during this challenging time. Um, I'm excited that they've chosen Fresno State. I think that says a lot about their personal character that they're going to continue on with their higher education and we have a great year planned for them. But Ashley's first year of college will be different. There will be no crowds of students gathering in the quad, no crowds of students on campus, and classrooms will sit empty. It's a bit of a disappointment, but I'll still, I think I'll still have fun in college, even with this change. The California State University system decided early on that it would open in the fall as a predominantly online education system. Castro says making that decision back in May gave Fresno State time to make its virtual program better. We've been working on those plans all summer and we've actually done a professional development program for over 900 of our faculty to help them get ready to teach online. Dr. Brian Barrett director of the Center for Faculty Excellence says having instructors trained virtually help them see online learning from a different perspective. In any online learning environment, the, it's critical that there is a faculty presence. So there needs to be an instructor presence. And it's very critical to be kind, um, to be con compassionate, and um, put yourself in, in the shoes of a learner. So understanding what online learning is from the student perspective is critical, and that's happening right now. About 7% of courses will be held on campus, most of them laboratories. Castro says for those in-person courses, it's all about safety for staff and students. We're going to do uh, testing for everybody who is willing to do it. I want to inspire everyone to do it. I'm going to do it. Uh, that'll give us a baseline, and for those who are not well, they'll be asked to stay at home, take courses virtually, and then come back. Uh, temperature checks, uh, we'll do those every single day, and then we'll do contact tracing whenever there's a case. Support services for students are moving online as well. Help counseling and tutoring. The student cupboard will be open to help students facing food shortages. And Castro wants parents to know that there is still about $250 million available in financial aid. The most important thing is that the students let us know when they need support. And uh, I'm just, uh, I'm thankful to have the opportunity to serve them during this time. And we know it's a challenging time, but we're going to do everything we can to support them. For Education Matters, I'm Winita Stevenson, KC24, local news that matters. And of course, those traditional dog days of orientation for new students is currently underway at Fresno State. And again, that's also in a virtual format. So they got to do what they have to do. They do.